Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video. Today we are going to be continuing on with our with our World War 1 ship, and as you guys can see in the previous videos, what we've actually done is we've added a crane, we've added our funnels, we've also added this Aaron Matt thingamabobby right there, and we've also got now these things, which are actually our lifeboats, which is pretty awesome. Uh, what we actually need to do is we need to add a way to turn the ship because at the minute we don't have any rudders uh, We also I, I did a question so I actually popped the question to you guys whether you wanted to see torpedo bulge thingamabobbies on the side and uh, A bunch of you guys said yes. In fact 90% of you guys said yes However, the uh, the thing was raised the the basically you said um, essentially That a ship this big wouldn't really have them uh, and it would all, all it would do is weigh us down and slow us down. However, what it would also do is make us a little bit more stable. Because as you guys can see, we're on our side. So, I don't know whether we should add those. I'm still going to give you guys the, uh, the question. Shall we add the torpedo bulge things to the outside? Let me know. But anyway, the first thing I want to do today is I want to go ahead and grab our ship and I want to actually add a rudder to it because at the minute we have no rudder. So let's go ahead and do that first. Okie dokie. So let's go ahead and grab some rudders and uh, we'll attach them obviously onto its butt. But uh, we need to put them in the right place. So we're going to go ahead and whack that right there. Okay, we're then going to have one here, one here and obviously one in the same place on this side. There we go. I think that'll be enough rudders uh, for us to actually turn it. But... Who knows? It might work. It might also not work. <laughs> but we'll see, I guess. Alright, cool. So, uh, being able to turn this thing after a decade of not being able to turn it is crazy. But here we go. A and D, let's do it. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, and there we go. We should be able to turn the ship now. That's awesome. Oh, someone also mentioned that I need to somewhat, like, tie these things down. So we need to get ourselves some rope anchors. Uh, and we actually need to attach them either to each other or to themselves or, or something. We need to do something with these. So we're going to attach that right there. We're uh, actually, we'll do the same thing as the other one. Delete this. And we'll put it in there right there like that. And honestly, we'll actually do it here as well. So we'll put this on the side. Uh, we want to do it on both sides too, because reasons. But there we go. We'll put that there. And then do this one as well. There we go. Uh, and then we want to attach it down to here somewhere. So I think we'll literally just do it to there. Okay, excellent. So, let's go ahead and add a lot more rope. <laughs> There's a lot more rope that needs adding. So we'll attach that to there. And that to there. Very good. We'll attach this to here as well. That is a lot of rope. Not gonna lie. Uh, that's our winch. That's okay. That's for our crane. Uh, and honestly, that actually seems okay. We'll then attach this down to here, down to there. And I think that'll be good. I don't think we need any more than that. So let's spawn it in. See what it looks like. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Because these things did have a lot of rigging, so I think that does make sense. I might also add them down as well. That'd be cool. Okie dokie. So let's figure out where the uh, the downwards rigging can actually go to. I'm thinking there and also there. I think that'll actually be pretty good. So uh, we'll attach this up to there directly, that down to there as well. And then these guys obviously up to the same place uh, if we can. There we go. All right, that's pretty awesome. So I think that's going to be it for rigging. Uh, let's go and add some lights into the bridge, because uh, I think that's pretty useful. Uh, we might actually do some deck lights as well. Yeah. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and get a light and we'll start adding them. So, light. I don't really know where to put it, to be honest. I think actually we'll delete that and we'll put them right there. There we go. Uh, we're gonna make them brown. Uh, da -da -da, brown, there we go. And brown, very good. And we'll also put one back here somewhere as well. I actually think it'll go there, but... We need it to be the right color, so let's grab a light. Uh, there we go. Okay, grab a light and make it brown. Okie dokie. One second. It's taking me some time, but that's fine. And then we're just going to attach it straight onto the back of this, just like this. Bam! There we go. All right, awesome. So that is probably enough light for the bridge, uh, and I think that'll be okay. Okie dokie. So downstairs in the actual room below the bridge, we're going to go ahead and fill in the roof. We're also going to paint the roof a different color. Because at the minute, it is all uh, the floor color, which isn't the best. I'm not going to lie. We're also going to do that and that. And there we go. All right, excellent. So that's all done. We need to go downstairs. We need to reattach these guys. Because at the minute, they're not attached to anything. So boiler temperature. We need to attach that to there. Okay, excellent. 
This one is coal level, so we're going to attach it to here. And then we've got, what is this? This is battery. And that's already ready. Okay, good. Uh, ooh, this currently doesn't do anything. Pumps and fans. Doesn't actually do anything, so we can get rid of that. Uh, right, okay. Well, let's grab this, cut it, move it sideways, and up. Although, actually, maybe we should... I don't know, I think we need like a little system for this. So we're actually going to put it right there. We're going to then grab this one, cut it and move it across. And down. There we go. And then I think we need to sort out the rest of it as well. So I think if we go ahead and go in here, we clear it, we grab this all the way to there. Cut it, move it down. Actually no, paste it there. Leave it there. Okay, excellent. So merge all of this to the wall. There we go. Uh, and all of that does do stuff, which is great. That's really good. Uh, pipes. These are going to be the things that allow us to make it look nicer, but honestly, I don't know whether it will. Uh, I wanted it to, to look a little bit more industrial, but I don't know. Is this, has this made it look more industrial? I think so. <laughs> I think so. Just a little bit, anyway. Right, okay, so that's going to be tied to the walls and stuff, and I think that does look pretty good. So we've got our boiler temperature, our coal level, and our battery. We've also got our air valves and our ignite button for the boiler. So that's all pretty good. Is there anything else that we really need in this room? I think we need buttons. So uh, on this side, we're going to have our nav lights and stuff. Let's go ahead and grab these. Uh, nav lights and other things. Let's do that. So this is going to be nav. 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 Uh, nav. Nav lights. There we go. This is going to be deck lights. Uh, this is gonna be... Well, I don't know, really. Bridge lights? There we go, bridge lights. And then this can be something else. But I don't really know what else it should be. Maybe it should be this room's lights, but who knows? Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe we can actually add, like, a funnel light to this. I don't know why, but, like, funnel light? I, I, I don't know. I don't know why that would be a thing, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, Alright, excellent. So attach this to there, 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 and there. Very good. And we need to figure out what each one of these actually do. So nav lights. That goes up to there. And attaches to all of those. Alright, excellent. Uh, what is this one? This one's deck lights and this one's bridge lights. Alright, bridge lights. Go ahead and put those in. Alright, excellent. Uh, and we're actually going to go ahead and make these go on straight away. Oh, the push buttons. No! That's super annoying considering I've just named them all. Uh-oh. Okie dokie, so one is nav lights, one is bridge lights, let's go ahead and type it in. So this one is uh, nav lights, I do believe, there we go, and then this one's bridge lights, and we're going to have those automatically on, uh, because I want to see what they look like, so spawn it in, there we go. Go ahead and make it night time, if we can, there we go, and that is currently what it looks like. I think that's excellent. Yeah, no, that aesthetic actually looks pretty sick. I like it, good. Okay, so then the deck lights, I, I don't want them to be too pronounced, I'm not going to lie. So we're going to hide it behind things, uh, and hopefully that'll make them actually look pretty good. So the light is going to go right here. Uh, we're going to make it, I guess, the same color as the floor. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that'll be okay. So I'll actually do that for all of them. There we go. Uh, and I think that'll be sick. Okay, delete that one, put it in. Good. And I think we might have to have extra ones right there. Okay, excellent. So then we need some for down here. Delete this one. We'll have it hidden behind things, like I say. So that should be pretty good. And I don't want it to be too lit up at all. So we're actually not going to add too many lights. Because usually I add far too many lights. But there we go. Something like that. Delete that one. And delete that one. There we go. And I think one up here somewhere. Actually, let's just do it below. Here we go. Delete this. Put it right there. Excellent. And then I think we'll do some back here too. So... Probably one right here, there we go, and then one at the very back on both sides, there we go. Alright, excellent. I think that's probably enough lights. It might even be too many lights, maybe. If any of you guys wanted to know how many lights there were on the deck, that is actually 20 lights. So that's quite a lot of lights, I'm not going to lie. So let's go ahead and uh, attach them all on, and then once we've done that, uh, we've got a fully lit up deck, and it should look pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. Uh, if it doesn't, we'll probably end up having to get rid of lights, because I think that's the thing that's going to be too too much. I think we'll have too many lights. So we're going to go ahead and try and get rid of uh, some of them, maybe. But uh, if it looks okay, then we'll keep them. But for now, let's go ahead and turn all of these into working lights. There we go. Go up to the actual thing, which is this one, and have it turn on automatically. Let's go. 
All right, yeah. Okay, so that could be too many lights. But honestly, I, I think I like it. Also, they're slightly different color to the those ones. But I think that's okay. Yeah. Okay, so what is the next thing that we actually need? Well, I think a searchlight would be pretty good uh, and pretty useful. So I think we'll add one. Uh, search. Yeah, so one of these is going to go on here. But as well as it being able to point up and down, I kind of want it to be able to point sideways. So... Weirdly, we're going to do this. There we go. We're going to get ourselves a pivot. And we're going to put it right in here. So, that's kind of interesting. There we go. And then the spotlight is going to be one of these. It's going to go right on there. And then we should be able to turn it and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, okay. Throttle. We're going to have its own little system. There we go. We'll have that right there. Actually, wait. Uh, handle. Can we do it with one of these? No way. Can we actually? Oh, it needs to be taller. That's annoying. Okay, well, actually, we can do that. So let's go ahead and put this right here. It's going to be our station for controlling. Oh, wait, really? No, this is so annoying. It's going to be our station for controlling the uh, the light. So we'll actually put that right there. Uh, we'll get our handle back. There we go. We'll put it right there. Okay, excellent. And we'll actually, yeah. How is this going to work? Searchlight on is going to be spacebar. Look, X. Oh, no. We're going to have A and D for left and right. And then we're going to have W and S for up and down. Okay. Is it going to work, though? Who knows? There you go. Attach that to there. Attach that to there. And we'll have spacebar on this be a toggle, which it already is. Okay. Spot it in. Let's go see if we can use that. Okay. Everybody ready? Let's go. Press spacebar. There we go. We can turn it to the right. We can also turn it to the left slightly. And we can also aim it down and up. They are literally, all of that is inverted. It's all wrong. Okie dokie. So I've actually attached that back on. Uh, it's all actually right this time, which is awesome. So that's all pretty good. W and S will make it go up and down. A and D will make it go left and right. And that is all that thing actually needs to do. So there we go. We get a searchlight bang in the middle of our ship. Is that weird looking? I think it is a little bit weird looking. Uh, we might have to move this. <laughs> we might actually have to move that, but for now, we'll leave it there. Okay, epic. I actually really like the way this is going so far. Uh, I don't really know what else we need. So we've got lights. Uh, we need lights in this room as well, so we'll attach those. Uh, I like this being the lighting station, so we'll keep that as is. Um, but we'll need to make it a little bit more, I don't know, fitting. So that's going to all fit in there like that. Obviously, all these lights are going to work. Uh, this is going to work for the engines and stuff which is awesome. Uh, and I think we'll attach it to the base like this. There we go. Good. Oh, I should mention as well, we need to be able to get up into this room because at the minute it is not actually possible. Uh, and also it's not possible to get into the front bit either because there is no room in there. Uh, and realistically, there doesn't have to be a room in there, but still. Right, okay. So let's say this is our room. Uh, I would like to be able to get up into there. So we'll use this. We'll use this wall right here that we've just found. Yeah, I think that makes sense anyway. So we'll delete this, delete this, delete this one, and this one. Get ourselves ladders, and we'll just whack them all in. Okay, in the right color, please. That'd be great. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't really like the idea of using ladders to get everywhere, but honestly, uh, it's okay. It is okay. I wanted to use stairs, but never mind. Um, it is worth mentioning as well, these stairs, they just need to go. Uh, and I think that'll be fine. Even if we just leave it like that, I think that's okay. Okay, let's see if it works. Can we get up the stairs now? Yes, we can. That's awesome. We'll be able to jump on the gun that'll be right here. And we'll be able to shoot things. Okay, excellent. Is that okay? I think it is. Uh, so we'll leave that like that. And the way in is actually in here. Past the crane controls. Into this little tiny room. Upstairs into this room. Where we can ignite the boiler if we wanted to. Uh, we can do the bridge lights, the deck lights, and the funnel lights, which don't exist yet. And then we can get up into here, which is fully lit up. I like it. All right, funnel lights. So you might be wondering what funnel lights would be, but let's go ahead and grab them and put them in and we'll see what they look like. So funnel lights are going to be lights that are positioned right here below the funnel on the back. Uh, and they're essentially just going to light it up from there. Why would you do that? You wouldn't, but I am. So there you go. All right, cool. Pressed. No, it's the wrong thing. It's the wrong thing. However, it could be used as like a friendly signal, I suppose. Um... It could totally be used as a friendly signal. Is it going to be used as a friendly signal? No. But still, it could be. So there you go. 
All right, okay, attach that onto there. We obviously need to attach this one again. And funnel. Funnel lights. Why not? All right, turn them on automatically. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's kind of sinister, but I like it. Okie dokie. So with all that being done then, we've got all of our light systems in, which is awesome. We've got our crane that works. We might need another crane towards the back end. Uh, I don't know what that crane would be used for just there. So yeah, there's no point in having a lifeboat over there because yeah, we've got two at the back. Uh, so I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure what that crane is actually for, but we're going to go ahead and reposition that. Actually grab a new one and we'll put it right here uh, and it'll do exactly the same job. Let's do it. Okie dokie, so it is going to be literally exactly the same as this crane because uh, this crane works. So that's all that matters, actually. Uh, I didn't mean to cut it. I did not mean to cut it. Uh-oh. Ruh-roh. Uh, -oh. uh we also need the bit below, so if I can grab that, that'd be awesome. Bam. There we go. Copy it. We're going to go ahead and take it to the back. We can have two cranes, why not? Why not have two cranes? All right, there we go. Uh, paste this right here. And it might be a way of getting them back on board, but at the same time, I have just realized that it will not look right. <laughs> it, it's not right because it's not big enough. We might have to have a bigger crane on the back. I suppose that'd be fine. Okie dokie. So instead of actually having a crane, uh, like the, the front one is going to be different to the back one because this one is actually going to be controlled via a handle because we can. So... Let's go ahead and get ourselves a handle. We'll actually go ahead and put it on a little bit of a pedestal, thingamabobby. So grab this and make ourselves a little thing. I don't know how to do this, actually. There we go. We'll do that. We'll have it go back here like this and uh, go together, I guess, at the top. There we go. Awesome. And we'll do this. Okay. Handle. Let's do it. Bam. There we go. All right. Epic. That will totally work. Put it right there. That's obviously going to control this, so that should be fine. Uh, and it'll be good. Okay, so left and right is this one. Uh, up and down is this one. And we need the other things. So down is one. Up is two. All right. Okay, cool. And all that should work. It's all connected to the electricity now. So it should be fine. Good. We can make it longer if we need to. Uh, and honestly, we do need to. So let's do that. Okie dokie. So let's literally just go ahead and grab this. Go ahead and cut it and uh, get rid of it for now. That's okay. And what we'll do is we'll position this like so. We'll have it go up to the center of where they are, pretty much. And we'll have it go there. So bring it up. Bring it sideways. And paste it right there. Okay, merge it in. Merge this with this. And that crane is very tall, I'm not going to lie. But it works. Or it will work. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Okie dokie. So yeah, we can actually leave that just like that. We will have rope or extra rope in this room. We also need to sort out the flooring in here because reasons. So let's go ahead and fill that in like that, that one right there like that, that one like there, and these two like this, and that one like that. Okay, excellent. So all that's done. Uh, we can get in the pipe room, and we can actually get to the uh, rope, which will be in here. Rope! There we go. All right, excellent. Let's go ahead and make it this color, and we'll just do this. There we go. Have boatloads. Boatloads of rope. Okay, makes sense. Nice. Okie dokie, so I spawned it back in with our extra crane. I know it looks a bit silly, but actually, at the same time, I think that's actually fine. With a little crane at the front, big crane at the back. I think this looks pretty nice, actually. I really like it. Uh, what we do need to do is see if the crane can actually lift the boat into its position. So let's go underneath here. There we go. We'll grab ourselves some rope, and we'll see if we can do it. Um, lower it down. Okay, it's inverted. It's inverted. And it's, it's not sticky. Oh, God. Yeah, we need to remember all this stuff. <laughs> we need to remember all of this. So, A and D needs to be sticky. And W and S needs to be sticky. And it's inverted, but that's okay for right now. We'll also make this a little bit more powerful. I think that's right. Is that right? One to two? And then one to two? Let's do it. And there we go. All right, cool. So, let's go ahead and drag it down. So, we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, yeah, okay. Literally every single bit of it is inverted. I'm sick of that happening. It happens so often. Uh, it is worth mentioning as well, this won't work. Because we can't attach this to four pieces. It doesn't work that way. Uh-oh. Okay, so we need to do a makeover of the boats. Or maybe not a makeover, but essentially we need to delete this. Or actually, rope. Just add a rope anchor right in the middle. Bam, just like that. Okay, excellent. Swan it in again. Let's try it again. 
Okie dokie, everybody ready? Let's go ahead and put that on there. We'll then d just delete that. There we go. Okay, excellent. Uh, and we'll see if the crane can do anything about this. Can you lift it? Alright, ready? Lift. Excellent! <laughs> it's not working. I can't lift it. I can't actually lift it. It's it's literally sinking my boat. That's not good. That's that's really bad. Oh, we flipped it. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We're lifting. Chuck it back on. Get it back on the rails. I can't do it. Okay, never mind. Uh, maybe it's just for show then. <laughs> maybe it's just for show. I don't know. Okay, so, so far with the boat then, uh, we've actually got it to a point where we could actually start adding the guns. We'll have a big gun on the back right there, and we'll have a big gun on the front uh, right here. And when I say big gun, it's not actually going to be that big. We also need torpedo launchers, and I think that's what this one's going to be right here. And uh, I guess if that is the case, this can be for loading torpedoes, I guess. Sure. All right, cool. I like it. Uh, right, okay. So for now, I think I'm going to end the video here. What have we actually done? We added an extra crane. We added a bunch of lights, and it all works. Nice. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.